Diane Hendricks and welcome to Chef Inspired Healthy. Today in the Daily Meal Kitchen, we have the team from La Picho. Gabe Thompson, executive chef, and Joe Campanel, award-winning sommelier. So today it's all about food and wine. Welcome, guys. Uh, thank you for having us. It's all great right. to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's really exciting. So we're talking about pairing food and wine, and we have three delicious dishes that are surprisingly light. So we want to talk all about that in a very quick four minutes here. Grilled mahi-mahi with a summer bean uh, salad, also gr uh, grilled summer beans with a preserved lemon dressing, mm -hmm. a little bit of pancetta. What wine are we pairing this with and why? Okay, we have a great Great rosé wine from Abruzzo, it's a Cerasuolo, made from the Montepulciano grapes, it's a little bit of a fuller bodied rosé. I love rosé with this dish because you get a lot of great char flavor from the grill. Also the pancetta can stand up to a little bit of a fuller bodied wine. Super dry, earthy rosé, mm -hmm. it's, it's really food friendly. It's, it's dry and it's it's got um, some, cit I taste some citrus in there. And it just <laughs> is, always, is always a good flavor to pair with, with I think any food, but especially fish. That is so good. Oh, good. <laughs> What's in the sauce again? It's, it's so a, yummy. It's a little lemon juice, olive oil, and preserved lemon. That's it? Yeah. What we have here is, um, it's summertime, it's, you barbecue outside, you're, you're having that kind of fun. Um, I love coleslaw, I love potato salad, so yep. I, a lighter version of that, so that's a, that's a coleslaw uh, made with, uh, with a fat-free yogurt. Oh, I love and that. And a potato salad that's made with a, just a vinaigrette, a Dijon vinaigrette and then a grilled uh, New York strip steak. And this looks great. And when it comes to meat, I mean, it's not, this could serve two or three people. It's, it's all about portion control. Yeah. I'm guessing we have more of a fuller bodied wine here. We have a little bit of a fuller bodied wine. It's a red wine. Usually with steak, people think about uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or something that's really, really big and full. Yeah. But I think that Chianti is the ideal red wine for a steak. It's lighter bodied than, the, um, than a Cabernet, lower in alcohol. So one of his main calories, because alcohol really adds all the calories to wine. Mm -hmm. um, but what's really key here is that it has really great acidity for a red wine. Yeah. And steak has some richness to it. Gabe's sides over here have a good amount of acid. So you need something that's going to stand up to those and the, the ass is gonna cut right through it. Okay, so let's try this. I mean, there's not a ton of marbling in here. It's, it's uh, mm. I mean, marbling, you want marbling. Why does this pair well with the steak? If you're in Italy, a really classic dish in Tuscany is the Bistecca Fiorentina, and this is the classic. Chianti and Bistecca Fiorentina is, is awesome. Um, like I said, it's a flavorful. It's uh, delicious. It's a really flavorful red wine, so the steak isn't going to overpower. It steak's one of the most flavorful foods. It's got my favorite grape in it. It's your amazing. Okay, so let's move on to our third and final dish. Linguine and clams. Mm -hmm. So uh, super simple. Um, we uh, saute garlic, um, some clams, uh, white wine. The clams open up. They release their own juices and help form a sauce. We finish with a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. uh, and some mint and black pepper. My son yeah. pretty much only eats mm. pasta. Let's talk about the wine. This looks like a very simple dish, mm -hmm. but it has a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously it's a, it's a white wine dish. It's, it's shellfish, there's white wine that's in the, that's cooked mm -hmm. in the pasta. But you need a white wine that has a lot of flavor to it. The city, again, is gonna cut through the, uh, the richness of the olive oil and the shellfish, make you wanna take another bite. So this one I really love. It's the Fiano di Avellino from Campania. Mm -hmm. High altitude, so even though you're all the way far south, it's very high altitude which means that it's much cooler and makes really elegant white wines. And I think Fiano is one of the, the best white grapes of Southern Italy. Thank you so much, Gabe Thompson and Joe Campanelle. And join us next time for Chef Inspired Healthy with our next rock star chef.